Featherstone is in his element. To get to work, the engineer has to drive uphill through 600 meters of rugged terrain in an area that was once commercial forest. Weatherstone runs the wind farm at Kruachvor, where the strong winds are ideal for producing green energy. The turbines are running at full capacity. With the blustering winds, Weatherstone has to ensure that the rotors don't spin too quickly. For safety reasons, turbines are shut down if the rotation exceeds 25 meters per second. It does present problems. They actually put the site up in winter and the snow presented a problem, but with engineering techniques, you can get around those problems. It just takes a little bit longer. The wind farm was located in these remote hills, partly because of the strong winds, but also because the surrounding area is largely uninhabited. But the site did need to be adapted first. Because of the turbines, they took the forest down to allow the wind to blow uh, through the turbines. So the, the site has changed dramatically, and the site is actually returning back to what it should look like, its native Scotland uh, hills and grasslands. Scotland is the windiest region in Europe. Residents here on the peninsula of Mull of Kintyre understand the value of wind farms, but that doesn't mean they want them in their backyards. The Cowan family home was built in an idyllic setting. But Ken Cowan is not very happy about his new view. If you look over there, you can see the nearest wind farm to us. It's just on the hill opposite. And you don't mind it? Behind us, there is a wilderness. There's no, there's no electricity pylons. There's, there's no people. There's, there's just land, and it's beautiful, wild country. And um, I don't want to see the wildness, all of the wildness, go, because then we have none left. The Cowan family lives in a setting that might be called the next best thing to paradise. The pristine landscape attracts tourists that Ken's wife, Leslie, welcomes to her bed and breakfast. Ken restores antique furniture and is committed to preserving tradition. I'm concerned that, that we, we want wind farms, we want a lot of wind farms, but we want them in one area. We don't want a lot of wind farms everywhere so that Kintyre starts to look like a porcupine. This wind farm in Whiteley is the biggest in Scotland. Construction on the facility began in 2006, and today 140 turbines dot the farm. The British government wants to expand the wind energy sector, but it's not just the sullied landscape that has opponents up in arms. Wind farms can also affect wildlife. An ornithologist hired by energy company Scottish Power to examine the impact on wildlife sees the need for wind farms. Unfortunately, I think there are required, but not too many. And you've got to be very careful and take into consideration not just the wildlife, but the community. The surrounding community is one thing Ken Weatherstone does not have to worry about at his remote wind farm. Scottish Power says new turbines will be installed out of sight, where they will have little impact on the landscape in areas like the hills of Kruachvor.